Here we are on the play and match the third. Uh, yes, I'd like to play first. Uh, hmm. I think this hand is okay. Yeah, great to meet you. I'll go ahead and uh, let me think about it. I think we can keep this hand. Um, Prismatic Strands, Battle Screech, not terrible. Plus we have a Midnight Guard. Uh, let's lead off with County Garden and pass the turn. In our up, well, next turn we can cycle the Ash Barons. I wonder if my opponent's on uh, playing the Monarch deck. That'd be pretty sweet. So we were discussing it. And I'm gonna actually going to go ahead and close the chat window. So Ash Barons, let's land cycle for a... I, I have a feeling this is going to be Boros again, even, you know, just based on talking there. Uh, Windscarred Crag is probably a good indicator as well. Um, let's get our planes. And we'll go ahead and garrison this bad boy back to our hand. Pop out the chat. Uh, you'll see, you'll see. If you're watching this, um, good luck to you. Secluded step, all right, that's pretty good. Having to cycle a land and then, you know, have another land. Uh, Journey to Nowhere is probably fine in this matchup. Let's go ahead and play a Calling Garden uh, miss sequence there. Little, little light miss sequencing. Little little light miss sequencing. We're all friends here. Next turn we can battle screech, flash back battle screech. I doubt he's playing uh, or my opponent. I actually don't know if my opponent's a man or woman. I apologize for making that assumption. Um we'll have to play him flashback battle screech. There's another Sister, I think it's worth it to go ahead and do this though. So now I have a pretty decent clock. And I think next turn I will play out Soul's Attendant and then leave up Prismatic Strands. That seems fine. And then we'll start getting in for some damage. This is probably to get Monarch, which is fine with me, because I think that, you know, I have Prismatic Strands of my own, so I don't like the position. I love this deck, though. I was just talking about it. Two Boros decks in a row, too, is probably not the worst. All right, Rally the Peasants. Um, huh. Let's see. We'll play our land. I don't think we need to... Rally right now. Although if we do and he blocks, then I become the monarch. This is actually fine. Yeah, now we'll rally the peasants. Now we're the monarch, and we can block and maintain our monarchy. Yeah, being on the being the monarch with this deck probably pretty sweet. Uh, next turn, uh, I I won't even block. I'm just gonna journey to nowhere. This guy, battle screech of their very own. Thought I said always yes. I might have just said always yield. Uh, don't think it's worth it to block here simply because. Next turn, I can uh, deal with it. So sweet, we take down a game versus Monarch. Um, I anticipate they'll be bringing in electricities. So once again, we'll board in our spider silks. 
And Ray of Revelation, uh, I don't think Journey to Nowhere is particularly good against us. Uh, I think it is okay against them because you can kill the Monarch thing. Sins Enlistment, probably not very good. Um, and then we'll cut a Presence and a Midnight simply because uh, they're slow and clunky. And I think I learned, they're not slow and clunky. They just require a lot of protection. I learned my lesson from uh, last game. I wonder if my opponent will bring in some, some amount of Standard Bearers, in which case the Journeys will be needed for that. Um, let's go ahead and submit this list, though, and see what happens. Um, this is fine. This has Battle Screech and Commune, Bohemian's Mulliganing. So we'll go turn one, Souls Attendant, turn two, Commune with the Gods, and try and find our combo pieces, I suppose. Well, triple, uh, triple Commune with the Gods, maybe not where we want to be. I do need to hit some land drops. Our opponent going to go ahead and bolt this. That's fine. Uh, that means we'll be playing Souls Attendant next turn. Vile is fine. I don't think it's particularly good against us. And our opponent probably doesn't know we're on Midnight Gond. They just saw a bunch of tokeny stuff. There's another Rally of the Peasants. Which I really would rather have in my graveyard, probably. see always yes always yield not missing a land drop that's pretty good alchemist vial sure next turn they can become the monarch and of course i draw another battle screech but i th think we should commune All right, cool. We don't actually lose anything, and we get our Presence of Gond. Missing land drops is rough. We do have a Prismatic in the yard, though, which is nice. Although I think our opponent's uh, kind of owning us here. And I really don't want to cast any more Commune with the Gods. I really want to find a land. You know, bending that um, green source hurts a little. And also, I think I, I want to leave up uh, Prismatic Strands. But now my opponent can pretty easily gain and protect the being the monarch. So this game uh, might go a little bit more poorly. Well, there's Blossoming Sands, so I like that. Let's play that. And do we want to commune here? No, I really want to hit my land drops. And I already have two. I already have three of the spells I want to be communing in my graveyard. So really, I think I want to. I need to be hitting land drops. And I need to be getting into a position where I can maybe uh, play Presence of Gond and Midnight Guard. So I'm still looking for Midnight Guard, so it's not the worst. Uh, if my opponent becomes a Monarch here, that'll be pretty rough. And attack with both doesn't necessarily indicate that. Okay, we draw Soul Warden. So now maybe let's go ahead and commune. I mean, I really don't want to, but I really hate not doing anything. And we get a Benevolent Bodyguard, so that's pretty good. And we'll get to get in for one here. But yeah, binning four lands doesn't feel great, but you know we're still looking for the Midnight Guard. We haven't actually milled one of those yet. Well, there's our fourth land, so that's pretty good. I think we could even afford to play out the Benevolent Bodyguard since we have the Prismatic Strands in the yard. Let's... Oops. I need to really start learning how to tap. Let's commune first. No, you know what? I want to play the Bodyguard first. Uh, that way they cannot... Uh, they can respond to commune with the blast, but if I mill a uh, a, a battle screech, I'll be in pretty good shape. We'll take the midnight guard. So now we have everything we want. And then I think we'll go ahead and just attack our opponent for uh, two. I don't really see a reason why not. 
Actually, let's just do it for one. That way we can sack the Benevolent Bodyguard if we have to. I mean, we could have done it either way, so it actually didn't matter. So now we'll just save up till we have enough. Uh, I think I do want to play the Battle Screeches because we have the Rally in the hand. Yep, I am okay with that getting bolted. See one, two, three, four. Let's battle screech. Flashback battle screech. Gain some leaf. Next turn we can well right now we can block a Glenhawk. Which I think is good because we have the extra battle screech in our hands. In our hand, so I think it's okay to go ahead and kill a Glint Hawk here, especially if my opponent has another Glint Hawk. Wow, or maybe not. Maybe we just want to save up for a big, a big rally of the peasants. We're not like in dre any dreadful danger of you know just dying, so I think it's okay. Yeah, I don't think I want to block here. I think we're fine. Another Soul Warden, A. Eh? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... My opponent has four cards in hand. So I think what I'll do is I'll... Huh. Yeah, I'll play Soul Warden, and then I'll play Midnight Guard, and we'll go from there. So I think that might be the way we win this one. And then I don't really want to attack into the Glint Hawk. Yeah, now we have the Prismatic Strands, and we have the um, Benevolent Bodyguard. So yeah, we'll take the damage. No worries. Is this his, If this is their own Rally of the Peasants, see four. Uh, well, now I'm going to go ahead and Prismatic Strands, name White. I think double casting it there may have been a mistake. It does mean my guard's a little bit down for the midnight guard, though. It's because if they have two burn spells, then I'm kind of sunk. Oh, they don't. Let's go ahead and make like 30 of them or something. I don't know. They probably also have prismatic strands. You know what, what am I, why am I doing it this way? Let's go ahead and play another Soul Warden. Gain even more life. So many clicks. Oh, I'll go ahead and auto yields it. That's nice. I wish you could any order stack these. My opponent has electric trickery. I'm kind of sunk, but I feel like they would have used it by now. We'll just get ourselves to an impossibly huge life total and go from there. I think 20 should be fine. Yep, at a healthy 73. Now I don't feel bad treating my uh, birds for these Glint Hawks. Digging for the electricery, I imagine. 
This is probably to become the monarch, which is not bad here. If they do that, though, yeah, they won't have. They're definitely um. Definitely have a. Uh, prismatic strands. I don't think we need to do this anymore right now. Yep, there's prismatic strands. But I will rally so I can attempt to either get rid of the strands or get rid of these glint hawks. So yeah, if they flash back the strands, then no one takes any damage, everything lives, nothing happens, and we're back where we were. Uh, I think it's probably worth it to just go ahead and hang on to these cards. Uh, in case I am in a scenario where I need to rebuild. So I'm pretty sure they have uh, a, board, a monarch guy. Yeah, there we go. A, a monarch in their hand. Let's give him pro red. Mountain is a good draw. Let's me attack with more stuff. Galvanic Blast targeting him, sure. Let's just make, uh, like, I don't know, 10, 20 more. So I think they probably have another um, they probably have another uh, prismatic strands in their hand is what I'm thinking here or an electricery. So I want to get to a life total where it's going to be really hard for me to lose the game. All right, ten's probably fine. And I don't, yeah, I didn't have anything that could have saved me there. So let's rally the peasants. And do they have a strands? They have a strands. Yep. So we'll be back to where we started. And they'll have to flash it back. Oh, they didn't flash it back. Okay. I'm the monarch. Ah, benevolent bodyguard, right on time. So they have the strands in the yard. Okay, those core skyfish. Uh, bounce the palace sentinels to become the monarch again. Uh, that's what I would have done. But they're looking for something else. Yep. Vile. Skyfisher. I actually didn't see what they bounced. Oh, okay. A vile. So this turn, I won't be attacking with the bird. That's pretty good. Starting to know where the palace sentinels, so they can't bounce it back to their hand. Let's attack with all of our elves. What? Okay. That seems a bit of a waste, especially if you're just going to be uh, preventing all... Oh, well, I guess that's a, that's a white creature, but I wasn't going to attack into these. I don't have anything. I, I mean, I guess if you're worried about Rally the Peasants.
So this is their last activation of strands. Um, and we'll go ahead and play out Benevolent Bodyguard, just in case it matters. And we'll draw a card. Our card is Spider Silk Armor. That's amazing. I really hope that we can uh, cast that. And that they don't draw anything off of this clue. Come on, I just need to fade one more draw here. One more draw. All right, one more draw. One more draw. Spider Silk Armor is going to be good no matter when I play it, even if they uh, do get the Electricery, though. Because I, I have the Battle Screech and stuff. All right, they're running out, running out. If this is Electricery, I'll be upset. And there's the GG's. Does that mean we win? Sweet. Two and one heading into round four.